Yo. Today, uh, suddenly, I want to create a recording. It's a lesson recording. About what? About ICT. Yeah. I record this using the op studio so now we go directly to the question paper right here uh, for Cambridge students especially grade 10 you will be able to guess these questions come from where from IGCSC of course right and <laughs> if you look on the code or on the file name well, you know, it's an IGCSE ICT 0417, yeah. Uh, that's like the first subject that I taught at school. Yeah, 0417, IGCSE ICT. And this one, M meaning March, right? And year 2022, uh, question paper 31. Okay. In IGCSE, uh, ICT, for practical yeah, especially, I love about ACML somehow, I don't know. Maybe it's because I just use the notepad application and I just need to like type the, the words to create something. And in this case, ACML is to create a web page. Yeah. Now, uh, on the IGCSC paper, um, most of the time, they will ask you to create a table like this, like in the question number two. And I love this, actually. I love to create a table using an HTML. And the reason why is, well, uh, it's not like Excel where you show the data in a table. It's not like that. Basically, in HTML or um, in a web page, right? Uh, table is used to help you to design your web page, or to make sure that the layout looks neat. That's like the purpose of having the the table. So now. Uh, we will go through of this. We just do question number two because this one is like the fun part, right? Uh, so let's go. Yeah. Um, it says that basically you need to create a folder. I will skip that because I just want to create a web page with this table, right? So I just keep creating a folder and then a web page called naivasa.acm. Maybe I will do that, right? This web page must be created using a single table, yay, and must work in all browsers. The table must be center aligned uh, and fit 80% of the browser windows. Okay, the table must have uh, a structure as shown in this diagram. Okay, so uh, first um, table, right? Create a table on the on the web page well basically uh, when you want to create a web page you need to like type first the basic structure of HTML that's the way I say it like what is the basic of uh, HTML tag right well the opening tag of HTML the closing tag of HTML usually I will put it in different line like that right and then after that, inside the HTML, um, in the, inside the HTML area, you will have uh, two smaller area. It's like our our anatomy, right? Uh, we have head, we have body, but yeah, but we also have like legs. But in HTML, they didn't provide the legs part. They just stop until body, like head and body, right? So, well. To create the head area, then you need to start with the opening tag of head and then close it with closing tag of head. This one is like a habit, right? The opening and the closing tag should be available in the different line, in a new line like that, right? And then after that, we will have body and basically closing tag of body. 
and this is the one that I call as a basic structure of HTML. So every time I ask the students to type the basic structure of HTML, I expect them to do this. Like, uh, well, you create first the HTML area, and then inside the HTML area, you will have two smaller area, which is the first one is the head, and the last one is the body. And for creating those areas, you need to like put the opening tag and the closing tag. So it's for head and body, right? Now, everything that you want to see on the web page, everything that you want to uh, share through the web page, right? You will put it basically mainly in the body area here. So I will give a space. And we want to make, uh, we want to create a table, right? So the opening tag of a uh, table is table right and then after that the closing uh, after that uh, there will be a time when you when you will end creating the table right so yeah basically you need to put the closing tag of table like that bingo done you just define that you want to create a table now after that uh, well to be able to see uh, whether your table looks okay or not maybe at the beginning uh, you will put the border you set the border to the table. Uh, well, usually I will put one like that. Um, basically, in IGCSC, uh, at the beginning uh, or in the process of doing the, the table, you will set the border, but at the end, you will delete it. Usually, they will ask you that uh, that border cannot be seen on the table. Ah, there you are. When they say something like that, then it's very obvious that table is used just for the layout, the layout of the web page, right? So anyway, uh, I already set the border and then it says that it should be center aligned. The table must be center aligned. Look on the second uh, sentence. So I will put another attribute, right, for the table tag, which is that one will be aligned. And then I will put center. Now, you need very careful on writing center in HTML. Because, look, right, on um, the question paper, uh, they write uh, the C-E-N-T-R-E, right? And maybe some students, uh, some of us will have a tendency to follow that, uh, to follow that, right? Uh, when you assign a value to the attri uh, align attribute. Remember that in HTML, the center is should be it should be written like that C E N T E R. Yeah, and then it say fit eighty percent of the browser window. Fit here means like the width of uh, the the width of the um, the table should be eighty percent of the browser window. Depend on the how. Uh, it depends on the width of the browser window. If it's if it's a full window, right? Then it will be eighty percent. But if you like make the the browser window smaller, then the table also getting smaller, eighty percent according to the browser window. Yeah. Now, uh, how to do that? Well, you put the attribute width. Oh, I misspelled that. And then this one will be eighty percent. So. Most of the time, or no, I think I will say always, always, when I type a tag or I write the attribute, I always like write it in capital. But for the value that is assigned to the to the attribute, I will write it in lowercase and uh, always surrounded by quotation, double quotation. And the reason why I do this. Uh, uh, is because I want to feel easier to detect which one is the attribute and which one is the value. Something like that. Yeah. So that one is like my preference on uh, writing my HTML. Now I'm done with this one and we go to the table, guys. Uh, we are go to the main topic of this, right? I will like, oh, how to make it smaller here so I can, we can look the table the whole table, right, uh, is, is a good idea for us to 
see the whole table here. Okay, now if we look on this table, then very obvious that this table is being created by two columns, right? Two main columns, like this one, right? And also this one. We have two main columns. And how many rows that we have? Actually, we have like one, two, three, and four. So basically, we're dealing with two columns and four rows. Now, um, in HTML, when you create a table, you always need con to concentrate with the row first. And then after that, you can go to the column. Like, you know, uh, the, 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 the step is like, you need to start, I will write here, later I will delete it anyway. Um, you need to start with the rules, and then after that, you set the column of the above row. And then after that, you go back again to the row. Oh, th this one is not plural. So always like that. You set the row, and then after that, you set how many columns you want to have in that row. And after you stop the, uh, after you're done with that one, you go to the next row. Always like that, right? As simple as that. Okay. So now we will start here. Um, here, yeah. Uh, I will make this one first, right? This one is like the first row of the table, right? The first row. So I will set uh, the first row. What? How to set the row, right, in a table? Then you use TR. Again, as my habit for TR, right? This one is the first row, my first row. I already set the row, right? And then after that, I will say like, how many columns actually available there? Well, if you look there, how many columns? We only have one column. But if I ask you a further question about it, then you will notice, uh, or maybe if you analyze further about that column, then you can say that, yeah, actually that one is a one column, but it come for, from two columns being merged, right? Because at the beginning, we say like, mm, well, this table actually come from two main columns. And right now, on the first row, you only see one column. One column, it means you only show one information, one data. Right? So, now, you get an idea. You want to create a column. You want to create a single column that actually come from two columns, right? From these two columns, you make it into one. So in like Excel, two columns, you merge it, right? So now how to do that? Okay, to create the columns, which is that one is used to store the data, then you will use a TD. TD stands for what? TD stands for table data. Like I said before, column is used for what? For showing a data. So that one, that's why table data, right? This one is the closing tag of TD then, right? And what do you want to have in the in this one? Well, I will write A. Right? But there is things that you need to do. Again, what? This column actually come from two columns, right? Two means column. So how to merge that one? How to make two column into one, right? Now, you will use the attribute call span. Call span is about merging column. How many columns that you want to merge, right? So the answer will be yeah, two. I want to merge two columns here. Yeah? And then it says that the width, is 100% okay and then <clears throat> okay and the height is 20% so we're done with the first column yeah later we will check whether the result is correct or not now we will go to the next one 
na. This one is more interesting. So, um, the first one is done, right? We're done with the first row. Then we will go to the second row, right? Okay, we will create the second row first. Oh, cannot see that. So I will go here and then I will create another TR. Second row, right? Um, and um, if you look on the second row, which one is the second row area? Uh, well, this one is the first row, right? And this one is the second row. Look. Yeah. And if you look on this second row, basically, how many columns do you see? You have two columns. It means you will show like two data in that row. Then... Okay, we put it first. It says we need to have two columns, right? <clears throat> so I will put like this. <clears throat> Closing first, right? And I just copy like this. So two columns on the second row, done. Okay, on the second row I have two columns. Um, the first one, the width is 65%, right? The width is 65%. Okay. So, I will write it like, that one is B, right? Just now? It says B, I think. Yeah, the first one, it says width is 65%. <clears throat> um... And if I'm not mistaken, the second one, it will be 35. Kind of 100%, right? Correct, yeah? And it's C. Okay. So, I will put it here. <coughs> C. Done. Now, is there any difference? Besides the width between these two columns, there is a difference. Look, yeah. This one is like, well, uh, the height is the same with the height of the row. But not this one. Right? If you look on this one, the height of this, this column, this one is the same with the height of this row, this row. And this row. So, oh, okay. So, for this one, the height of this one is equal to three rows being merged. Correct, yeah? The height of this column actually is equal to the what? To these three rows being merged. Oh, okay. So I need to do something with this column, right? With this CD. Oh, rows being merged here. Oh, okay, what is the attribute for that? If column being merged is call span, then for the row, it will be row span. And that the value is three. Three rows being merged. Done. So we're done here. With the A, B, and C. We're done with this one. We're done with this one. We're done with this one. We're done with the first row. We're done with the second row. We go to the third row, though. Okay. We go to the third row. Here. The third row. And if you look here, on the third row, if we make like a box on the third row, we only have this. How about this? This one is already created from the second row, right? So we ignore this. So on the third row, we only have one column, one data, and the data is D. Oh, easy. Right? So this one, it will be like, 
TD and this one will be the D. And if you look on the questions again, we're done, right, on creating the row number three. If we go to the last one here, row number four, it's the same, right? We create the row, and then after that, we only have one data, one column. The same here like this, yeah? Then the one that I will do, I will highlight this, copy, and I put it here, and then E. Nah, this is my code, actually. I will, like, um, how, uh, okay, how to change the font here. Oh, okay, uh, maybe I will make it into 9. And how? Okay, like, yeah, nah, that's like my code that one is too small right but i hope you can see and we will see whether um, this table is correct or not is it the same with the one uh appear on the question paper so right now i will well name it the same like that naifasa right sounds like names um in the lion king right Naipasa or something. I don't know. Let us see. Um, yeah, I can use this one. It's fine. Naipasa.htm And yeah, in here, although I put like that, I will make it all files. And where is it? I need to be able to find it first. Teaching with ABICT. Okay. So I will save it there, right? And well, I will go there first. Uh, it will be here, teaching uh, on 8B, right? And I city and I vessel. Ah, like that. Okay. Um. That's how to create the table. Uh, again, to sum up the lesson, uh, actually it's easy to create a table using the SDML and you don't have to use a complicated application. Notepad can uh, do this. Yeah. Um, basically, when you create a table, you just need to be sure that you concentrate with the row first and then after the, after you creating the row, then you concentrate on how many columns, how many data that you want to show in that row. And then after that, you go to the next row. And again, the same questions, how many data that you want to place there and go to the next row, go to ne the next row until the last row of the table. Um, I think that's all for uh the video i hope that you do get it bye bye